Uh, I met a lot. I met a lot of people recently um, because this is a very prime age. Because I want to describe a situation to you guys. I want to see if you can relate to this. Um, are there any of you, by any chance, that happen to have just been like in school and maybe like ran home from school every day to watch this specific show? Like, <laughs> that's when you guys are like ten or eleven or twelve or six or Let's somewhere in that age range. Still growing. <laughs> and you still watch it. What's wrong with you? <laughs> This story again and again recently because you're all old enough to drive now. Which is the scariest thing. It's like, I know you. You were my, like, thanks for being my childhood. It's like, what a terrible childhood you have. But I have the best thing to come out of it. I'm so sorry. Wow. Uh, gosh, everyone, it, like, everyone's wearing dark shirts. I appreciate this too. Like, 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 there's a lot of black shirts in the room. Oh, look at this. Somebody just brought me some stuff. The, hey, so this is Eric. Say hi, Eric. Hi! Eric's uh, what they call the business handler, which means he has to do whatever I tell him to do. Uh, and he has such a firm grip. Chizatsu. <laughs> <Just out, just laughs> And then he goes, <laughs> I'm trying to get it. He goes, I'm reading for Boma. Goku! <laughs> he just kept laughing the whole time. He, unfortunately, didn't get the role. <laughs> but a lot of people were cast off of that original casting list. Sean Schimmel, who was, uh, oh! he was, uh, he was a marionette puppeteer and a, a French horn player in a minute. The original voice of Chiaotzu worked at a library that was like 50 years old. I'm not kidding, she's like super quiet, and then when you get her to talk, she just went... <laughs> All the windows were pretty good stuff. Yeah, that's a good idea. And, uh, let's see, Sunny Straight with the acrylic was and I know I'm probably going to talk a lot about Dragon Ball because I have the, the biggest connection to that show since I've been working on it for so long and it never goes away. <laughs> never. I've said this on other panels before in, in person yeah. at, at social gatherings and in, in, in restaurants and to random strangers on the street. But uh, <laughs> I've said, you know, Dragon Ball Z is kind of like a Dragon Ball Z villain where like you can blow it up. And you think it's done, and it's over with, and then the smoke clears, and Dragon Ball Z is still standing there going, <laughs> One more transformation. No, no, I have one more beyond it. Look at my yellow box! No, 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 wait, wait. I have another transformation. Nine! Yeah. Call me Kai! But I've been completely rewritten and partially recast! Oh, um, okay, so. And then there's Piccolo. He's a. You guys like Piccolo a lot down here because uh, marijuana is decriminalized. I think it, Piccolo was kind of the pot smoker of all of them. He just. <laughs> He spent most of his time like in a just kind of in a, a crater or just in an iceberg, sitting there for a long time, just thinking and li listening to people's music from far away because it's really sensitive here. Um, so yeah, uh, and he, he his only job in Dragon Ball really was to tell Gohan what to do. <laughs> he treated Gohan kind of like a dog, like go Gohan, go go go, stay. Just kind of like a surfer and he that gang. And like Dragon Ball, he was like this awesome uh, bandit who was scared of women. At the end, he's just a complete loser. 
<laughs> like, seriously, there was a time at the end of Dragon Ball Z where it really did legitimately seem like to me that Yamcha was just sitting around waiting for Goku to die of his heart condition so that he could maybe hang out with Chi Chi or something. <laughs> I mean, granted, I mean, he had a bit of a hand through his heart. I mean, that is a tough thing to do, so... But still, poor Yamcha. Uh, and so, the reason why I played a lot of these other characters is because I wasn't always originally cast as them. I would just end up, because I was directing the series, having to replace people who would leave. Like, um, Mr. Popo, for instance, was played for a short while by Chris Kaysen. You guys know Chris Kaysen? Awesome guy, you'll meet him one of these days. Anyway, good guy. I'm not in Ayami's voice. Wait, hold on, you have to record it first, though. Of course you do. Because we couldn't just enjoy it here. We have to enjoy it for everyone. Everyone deserves to hear it. She's going to listen to it every night before she goes to bed. And have the biggest dreams of all time. I swear to God, you, uh, if you kill someone and they find some tape of me <laughs> in some cassette that you've been listening to every day. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, wow. Okay, first time ever for that one. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. Uh, here we go. Uh, I love men. Here we go. Ka me. Ka me. Yeah. Do you guys have another uh, wireless mic right thing over there? You I think you're the only one. one. You, you and I have the uh, only one. We ones. have the only one. How about this? Uh, if someone else wants to be a mic runner person, I'll just talk to one of these bad boys. How about that? Uh, I don't see going. Yeah. Testing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not as boomy as I'd like. And there's a little latency, but that's okay. Alex. Um, okay. Uh, sorry. Jack, was it back out? Question. <laughs> Uh, I have a question. Um, actually, you're my actually favorite hero from Dragon Ball Z. My three favorite heroes are Piccolo, Vegeta, and Goku. But you're my two favorite. Oh, <laughs> oh thank you. Uh, and Yamcha, and you can actually introduce him in my family. Because we all love Dragon Ball Z. I don't know if he knows the episode. Oh, that's really nice. So, three generations of Dragon Ball Z watchers. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> um, also, I was wondering if you could do Vegeta. Boys and say Kakarot. <laughs> that is an easy request, my friend. <laughs> Kakarot? Unbelievable! <laughs> that, was, uh, that, that was easy. I like some questions. <laughs> Tell me more about it. Like, I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's see. No, uh, I in fact do uh, watch the abridged series, and I in fact do love the people who make the abridged series. <laughs> they were down recently uh, to uh, go to a convention in Dallas, and I got to spend some time with them. I've been encouraging them as much as possible to do as many things as possible, because they are ridiculously funny and ridiculously talented. In one of the more recent episodes, I love... I love when they ask about Yamcha. And he's just like hanging from a, a news. He's like, <laughs> um, anyhow, uh, and, and the explanation of how Trunks came to be was a pretty good one too. My room, ten minutes. All right. Uh, 